Hello, Squee here with TGN, and welcome back to episode 40 of Let's Play Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag for the PC. In the last episode, we talked about why it's important to treat your crew fairly because pirates could often punish you if you didn't. It's like Undercover Boss, except the Undercover Boss is a pirate, and if you're not doing a good job, he murders you. Yeah, so pretty much the same thing. Let's get back to it, shall we? Can I just like return to my ship and then sail over there or do I have to leave Kingston? What's up? What's the deal? Uh no. Get get, get off there. Captain has the helm. Oh no. I don't want to sail to the sea. Fine, fine. Can I sail to that ship? I mean, can I swim to that ship? I'ma swim to this ship. So yeah, Jolly Rouges would very many times uh, allow a pirate to pirate a vessel without conflict. The ship would see the Jolly Rouge and be like, done, totally done. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And um, so yeah, hang on before I get into uh, famous pirates. Yeah, uh, that's pretty much all I have about the actual golden age of piracy. If you have any questions, let me know. I'm going to get into uh, the pirates themselves, uh, the famous pirates that you've all heard about. Um, I can cover the fall of the golden age. Why piracy uh, died out when it did. Uh, it died out generally in this... It didn't die out. It became less common in the 1730s, and the golden age of piracy as we know it stopped in the 1730s, mostly because... Um, well, they were victims of their own success. Part of it was that they were victims of their own success. They had become so successful and so good at pirating that the nations eventually had had enough. They said, enough is enough. These guys are really, really cutting into our bottom line and uh, we're, we've had enough of this. So they started forming a lot of pirate hunters and, and the like. But more importantly, um, navies just got stronger. Uh, in the 1730s, people weren't a, a, as commonly at war with each other. They, 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 Spain and, and Britain had formed relative peace. Um, I do say relative. Uh, and, and it allowed their navies to get a lot stronger. And a stronger navy made it much higher, h harder to be a pirate. Uh, the navies eventually were able to uh, keep up with piracy. And piracy became far more dangerous than the reward. Pirates didn't live very long. Less... I mean, pirates didn't live very long to begin with, but uh, they were much quicker to die. So, piracy became much less attractive for some reason. I can't imagine why. Whee why did I kill everyone on that ship? I don't know. Pirate... Um, so piracy just kind of died out. I mean, it didn't stop, but it was no longer this epidemic that it was up until 1730. And I really mean it was an epidemic. I'll, I'll get into what some of these pirates were able to do, but it's astounding how dangerous and powerful some of these pirates were. Uh, so the old, the bigger navies were able to eventually kind of stamp them out for the most part. You still had pirates, but nothing like what they used to be. They were few and far between and didn't last long and, and weren't able to pull off any of the kinds of successes that they did during the Golden Age of Piracy. But like I said, the biggest thing about the Golden Age of Piracy was the sense of freedom. These pirates belonged to no man but themselves and their ship. They didn't sail for England or Spain. They didn't only... You know, didn't have letters of mark. They, anyone and everyone was a target for them. Not always. Some pirates had standards. They would only attack this nation or, or whatever. But for the most part, they didn't care who they attacked as long as there was gold involved. Um, and in a lot of ways, they were also a lot more brutal than buccaneers and privateers ever were. Because buccaneers and privateers still had to answer to someone. Not very much. And I'm not suggesting that buccaneers and privateers weren't incredibly violent and brutal people. But the Golden Age of Piracy led to some of the worst atrocities that pirates ever committed. 
So, I'm in a restricted area. Oh, snap. Well, I'm about to get out of a restricted area. Hi. Bye. What's this? Old bakery. Huh. Whee! Oh gosh. Sorry. Sorry. Um, so I guess I could, uh, talk about, um, the pirates? Famous pirates? Yeah? Uh, who do I have on my first list? Uh, I didn't go in any particular order, honestly. I'm just kind of go, gonna go with, go down my list. Starting with William Kidd. Now, all of you who have been watching this have heard of Kid. In the last Assassin's Creed game, we were collecting his treasures. His treasures that he had hidden everywhere. Um, and William Kidd is a very interesting... And, of course, his, his bastard son slash daughter, I'm still convinced it's probably a girl, uh, is, is a big part of this game, apparently. In real life, I will point out, in real life, as far as we know, there's no such thing as a bastard son or daughter of William Kidd. Might have existed. We don't have any records of it. No. Doesn't mean it, it didn't happen, but it was obviously artistic license of the game. Hi. Do you now? Hey. Stop that. Got you. So, uh, William Kidd actually started off as a pirate hunter, and that's a very interesting thing. Uh, he wasn't a pirate to start with. He was a pirate hunter. He, he killed them. He, he hunted them down. He worked for the government. Um... And pirate hunters were an odd thing because they were really only one step removed from pirates themselves. Kind of like how sometimes mercenaries are only one step away from bandits. Um, basically, oh, he was he was hired because he he supposedly understood pirates a lot better than the average person, and he was hired by America. The English colonies, actually, at the time. Oops. He was hired by the English colonies to hunt down pirates. Um, okay, stop it. Ow. Ow. Yeah. Not sure what happened there, but okay. Whoa, gee. Let's sit on this side, huh? There aren't as many people, uh... Trying to kill me. Why is everyone so upset at me? All I did was murder a few people. Oh, hi. You're in my sight, sweetheart. What are you talking about? Wow, that hurt. Oh, jeez. What the? I counted that, didn't I? Oh, jeez. Ha ha. Ha I'm almost dead. Ha ha ha. Well, poop. Oh, I'm still alive! I'm still alive! No, I'm not alive anymore. <laughs> so, um, anyway. Pirate hunters were, like I said, usually one step removed from pirates themselves. Um, 
because they would very commonly use former pirates to go pirate hunting. Uh, and that is exactly what William Kidd did. He was hired by the American colonies to uh, stop pirates because pirates were becoming a huge problem. No, no! Defending the bell. Ta da! So, uh, he was hired in New York, and basically he was going to um, sail for the pirate round, which was, like I told you, the, the most common route uh, pirates would take. And um, his goal was to, you know, pirate the pirate ships, to kill them and, and take their loot. And basically what he was hired, the, the, the terms of his, his contract, so to speak, was that he could keep whatever loot he found on the pirate ships. In, in return for taking you. out the pirate ships. Interloper, raise the Clear shot. Clear shot. Arthur's a mistake. Oh, jeez. So, um... Hi, right, there's another bell. Stop it! Okay. This. Hi. Don't lose sight of him. <laughs> what? Don't lose sight of who now? Um. So what he did is he went around hiring very shady characters that, that a lot of people the believe were actually former pirates. Um, and basically the way these people were hired was they were just kind of like a pirate ship. They were promised a share of whatever pirate ships they plundered. So, like I said, one step removed from an actual pirate. It's not really hard to see how he fell. Um, but he did start off working for the British government as a pirate hunter. Um... He sailed for the pirate round. Problem was, didn't find any pirate ships. Uh, they, 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 they hunted and they hunted and they just didn't find anyone. Got you. Um, and he was faced with a dilemma here. Um, basically, he didn't find any pirate ships to loot. He had hired a whole bunch of shady ex-pirates uh there's no we don't know for sure they're ex-pirates but a lot of people suspect they were and it makes sense that he did but he had hired a lot of shady ex-pirate type people and uh promised them uh treasure from all the pirate ships they plundered he found no pirate ships so now he's got a crew on his hands that is one step away from mutiny because uh he's not fulfilling his end of the bargain What in the world? Alright, I'm just gonna get out of here. I don't even know what this is for. Screw it! Why am I running? Let's do this! Piracy! So, he had a crew that was one step away from mutiny, and he was like, well, gee, I'm going to have to attack some sort of ship. And that's exactly what he did. Um, I don't remember exactly... Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, I don't remember exactly what he attacked. I know it was some sort of trade ship, but it was an honest trade ship, and he attacked it and looted it. Um, he turned pirate because, kind of understandably, he was putting a rock in a hard place. His crew was about to mutiny on him. 
et cetera, et cetera. So he turned pirate. Uh, I think there were accounts where he said like he didn't realize it was an honest trade ship, but I think he probably did. <laughs> I don't think there's much debate there. Uh, hello, what is this? What the? What am I doing here? Oh, well, whatever. Just uh, seeing the sights, I guess. So anyway, the second he uh, pirated an actual trade ship, all of the governments turned on him. They were like, up, oh, guess who's a pirate now? <laughs> the trapdoor spider gets another prey. <laughs> okay, um, so all the governments were all like, yeah, you're just a pirate now, we're going to hunt you down. And William Kidd, to his credit, was vehemently saying, I'm not a pirate, I'm not a pirate, I didn't realize it was such a big deal. It was just one little trade ship, God. Whee! No, you come here. Yes, you come here. <laughs> I can't believe that worked twice in a row. I still don't know what I'm doing here. He is coming the other direction. I thought he was turned around. So, um... Basically, all the governments wanted his head. And he knew that sooner or later he was going to have to turn himself in. So, whoa, do you guys want uh, the romantic version or what we actually know or suspect to be true? Um, he's rumored to have hidden lots of treasures all over the place in hopes that his knowledge of all the buried treasure would be enough to save his head. In other words, they wouldn't want to kill him because they'd want to know where all the treasure was. Um, so he was rumored to have actually buried all his treasure in different places. Now, as far as history actually can tell, he said he did it, but we have no proof that he ever actually buried any treasure whatsoever. We have never once found anything resembling William Kidd's treasure. Um, so for all we know, he just said he did, and he never actually did anything. Hey, can I free you? I wanna free you. I wanna free you. I mean, gotta be down here for some reason, right? I know everyone's gonna be like, "Well, duh, you're down here for blah 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 blah." Don't, 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 don't tell me. Let me, let it be a mystery. I like mysteries. Mysteries are fun. Where am I? Why am I here? <laughs> Seriously, no idea why I'm here. Whatever. Evening, gents. And I shall just go about my business. Am I still in a restricted area? Well, I am. But not for long. Hi. I'm just going to run away. So, anyway, he was rumored to bury all the, 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 the treasure all over the world and blah, 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 blah. And uh, he went back home hoping that would be enough to protect him. It was not. <laughs> he went home. They arrested him. They sent him to England. They tried him and they hung him. However, when he was hung, everybody showed up to his hanging hoping that he would uh, tell everyone where his treasure was. They were like, yeah, maybe he's going to tell us where he hid all the treasure. And he didn't. 
And they killed him. And everyone was disappointed. However, that is a large inspiration for the uh, One Piece anime. So, over the years, the rumors of his treasure grew and it became a great big thing and and uh, that's how the whole treasure maps and all that stuff started. Like I said though, um, treasure maps weren't really much of a thing. Most pirates didn't bury their treasure and all that stuff. Okay, so, um, we're done with the... Uh, the viewpoints. Let's go do some story stuff, shall we? Uh, I've still got tons of other pirates to talk about, but I can talk about that, you know, when we're sailing or doing other really boring things or whatnot. Hello? Hello? You're not an actual rowboat, so you don't count. Fine. So I got all the viewpoints except for that one that I can't seem to get to, which really stinks. Look at all these fast travel places. Weird. Oh, hey, I can just fast travel right there. That's a, that's a lot better than a... I can just fast travel right here, too. It's a lot better than swimming all the way back over there. What is this? A manuscript. What? How did I miss that one? Oh, well. Whatevs. Whatevs. Let's fast travel there, shall we? Uh... No, I actually want to fast travel there. What the? Can I please fast travel there? Please. What am I missing here? Yeah, okay. Yes, you can fast travel, but no, you can't actually fast travel. Good, good, good job. Maybe I have to go to a fast travel spot. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I am so sorry. I'm not sure what happened there. 